This past winter, I was fortunate enough to be invited to Utila, Honduras. One of my friends and colleagues rented a home there for the month of January. Utila is the smallest island in Honduras's Bay Islands. It is on the southern end of the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef System, the second largest in the world. Flights directly to the island only depart on Saturdays. I landed in San Pedro Sula on a Monday. I then needed to navigate the 119 miles to La Ceiba, where the ferry would take me to the island. I had been forewarned of the dangers of traveling on mainland Honduras. San Pedro Sula boasts one of the highest murder rates of any city in the world. I was greeted by a kind-hearted cabbie who agreed to shuttle me to the coast. The island has many small paths, and one of the best ways to see them is by ATV. I was able to rent one for one afternoon of exploring. The highest point on the island is Pumpkin Hill, with panoramic views of the scenery around. Flor de Caña is the drink of choice, a Nicaraguan rum, best served from a coconut. The few local restaurants feature delicious, affordable local fare. Walking through town one day, a local spotted my collapsible fishing pole and invited me to join him on his skiff for the day. I got my anchor, I got my rope, I got everything up in here. So if you got any friends around, man, that need to go, if they don't want to fish, they could just come to go. Go on the beach and party and cook fish and snortle, whatever they want. I had a big snortle. That's my dory, that's what I use to get through that. What's yeah. what's her name? I might not ever put a name on this. No. <laughs> I got her name the Canal King. The Canal King. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, she goes through there pretty Jose. What can I bring up resume for the cup to that? Oh, it's plenty out here in the harbor and yeah. in, in the evening lit you could tow around and yeah. get some bonita. Oh nice. They're fun. They come up our way. Yeah. They come all the way up to Rhode Island where I live. Really? Way up north, yup. Okay, let's these gallons. I don't like them. If the stopper don't leak, they, they're easy to puncture, you know. Two sides of the island are connected by a small man-made canal, just a few feet deep and only passable on the high tide.
people surf out here? Huh? Surfing? No. no. We can't handle that. <laughs> We beached the skiff and I waded out onto the reef where I tried my luck and managed to hook a small snapper and a grouper. Yeah, well, tomorrow, that's what I say. You can go there today and kill them and tomorrow and not. I just don't know. Let's, let's fish it. That's why they call it fishing. Right. After a bit more unsuccessful casting, we tried to give trolling a shot. In no time, we were tight. As soon as the spinner was back in the water, I was hooked into a sizable needlefish with a great fight. Jose continued to try his luck with the hand line and finally hooked into a good one just to have the fish spit the hook right at the boat. He lost it. That's for bacon bread, man. Coconut bread. Coconut bread. Where, yeah. where are we right now? Coconut bread, coffee, and fish. You got it made today. <laughs> Carlos and his wife also bake and sell coconut bread. And whenever he's on this side of the island, he makes sure to scavenge some wood for the oven. Steamed in, Jose made quick work of cleaning the fish. I don't want to 
have to change it never. You know, to open it up bigger, I don't want that. Because it will kill the beauty. You have boats flying through here, 100 miles and now I don't want that. Good job like the way it is. had flown by, I had made new friends and discovered a truly special place. 